1951 research fellow based at the University of Bristol. My name is William Rees. I'm studying for a Master's in Earth Sciences at the University of Oxford. We're interested in the vibrations that elephants produce through the ground because it's not a very well understood mode of uh, communication and a mode of information that goes uh, through the ground that elephants and other animals might be able to use. This project is aimed at firstly looking at the type of vibrations that elephants produce. Um, we're then interested in how the terrain itself has an effect on this. For example, how far these vibrations might travel in different contexts. And we're also interested in how different sources of noise, for example from humans, might be affecting how these vibrations are able to travel through the ground. They produce these very low vocalisations, uh, which are thought to move through the ground as well. In particular, we're interested in when they vocalise, whether there's a a ground-based component that can travel a much further distance from the, um, from the acoustic component, so to give them a, an advantage in terms of range. So we've been doing two very different types of experiments out here in the field. The firstly doesn't involve elephants, it in fact involves uh, wielding a sledgehammer against the ground and then measuring the vibrations. This may seem slightly odd, but it allows us to generate a kind of controlled vibration through the ground. We can then see how different types of terrain affect how these vibrations move through. Another thing we've been trying to do is get recordings of what's called seismic background. So these are noises that are propagating through the ground that are from anything other than what we're looking at. So we've been recording the sound of cars, people hopping up and down and all sorts of things like that, planes going overhead, a variety of different things which contribute to the signals we might pick up when we record the elephants. So the second type of experiment does involve elephants. Uh, we go out in the fields and we try and record the vibrations that the elephants produce. When we're out in the field we're driven around by our trusty ranger 007 and he allows us to get up very close to the elephants. We look at the vibrations that move through the air, so that's using a normal microphone that everyone will be familiar with. We then use a, a special type of microphone known as a geophone, which basically you put into the ground and it measures how the ground vibrates. We also film the elephants to look at the types of behaviours that they have, which we can then uh, correlate with the airborne and the ground-based vibrations that they produce. So we're trying to record a few different types of behaviours, in particular movement, walking, running, but also the rumbles and trumpets and other sounds they make when they're foraging and interacting with each other. Most of my research so far has been lab-based. It's been fantastic to come out to uh, work directly with the elephants. They have been wonderful to work with. They've been producing lots of vibrations for us. Um, so it's been really, really interesting to study what type of vibrations they produce and hopefully with the data we get out of it we get a little bit more of an insight into these amazing animals in terms of this sense that people tend to forget about, so this sense of vibration that we think these elephants might be using.